everybody, I'm Amanda. I'm the assistant camp director here at Camp Aranza Zoo. Thank you so much for tuning into the Good Times Never End virtual programming content for this summer 2020. Remember that before you watch this video or engage in any of the things that I'm about to do, it's really important that you get your parent or guardian's permission to do so. It's very important to us here at Camp Aranza Zoo that you do that, so if you haven't done so yet, please hit pause and don't resume until an adult has said that it's okay. All right, now that we have the permission that we need, let's go ahead and get started. So for these sessions, we are going to be focusing a little bit on something called mindful breathing. I'm going to be using this helpful book. It's called Alpha Breaths, The ABCs of Mindful Breathing. It's written by Christopher Willard and Daniel Rechstrafen. I hope I pronounced that right. And it's illustrated by Holly Clifton Brown. So, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I start to feel really angry or frustrated, I don't always know what to do to make myself feel better. And something that I found recently is something called mindful breathing. So, throughout this book, it's going to give us a couple different techniques, along with our ABCs, to use if you start to feel frustrated or upset or angry and you need to calm yourself down and focus a little bit on yourself and your body, okay? So we'll go ahead and get started. A is for alligator breath. Open your arms wide like alligator jaws on the in breath. Snap them shut on the out breath. So we'll go ahead and try a couple of these together. Remember that when you breathe in, you're gonna breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. So looks something like this. <sighs> Alligator breaths. B is for butterfly breath. Spread your arms like beautiful butterfly wings on the in breath and let them flap gently on the out breath. Bring it back to the center. Very good. Here are illustrations for those two breaths. C is for cake breath. Breathe in as you imagine a birthday cake. Breathe out as you imagine blowing out the candles. All right, so I'll think of a birthday cake. Mmm, a chocolate birthday cake with chocolate icing. Yes, please. Okay, thinking of my birthday cake. Good job. Dolphin breath. Breathe in as you lift your arms up high. Breathe out as you imagine diving into the ocean. So. Makes me think of camp, the dolphins. Wonder how many of you watching have seen dolphins at camp. All right, E is for elevator breath. As you breathe in, imagine your breath going all the way up to the top floor of your belly. As you breathe out, imagine it going all the way down to the bottom. You can even count floors as you breathe. So we'll start at the bottom.
Very good. F is for flower breath. Breathe in and imagine you are smelling your favorite flower. Breathe out and imagine you are blowing the seeds of a dandelion. Okay, I'm gonna be smelling my favorite flower. job. Those are all the illustrations. I don't think I shared the last page's illustrations of cake breath and dolphin breath, so here they are. G is for gratitude breath. As you breathe in, think of a person you're grateful for. As you breathe out, send them a smile. All right. Good job. I feel like I have a lot of people to be grateful for, so it's hard to pick one, but I picked my brother this time, but next time I do it, I might pick somebody else. And the last one we're gonna do today is H is for hugging breath. Close your eyes, give yourself a hug, and gently breathe in and out. That really did calm me down. All right, like I said, that was the last one that we're gonna do today, but tune in the next couple weeks because we'll have two more videos for you that go through the rest of this book. I'm curious to know what was your favorite one that we covered today? I really enjoyed that last one, the hugging breath, and I also think I really like the elevator breath. It gives me something to visualize as I'm breathing in and out. Share, share with us on social media if you have one that is your favorite and make sure you're always tuning in to The Good Times Never End. We'll have more content up next week with these books. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. See you next time.